All right, welcome back to the channel. We are checking out Downey Games, uh, player of the game, WNBA style. I picked up the uh, first season of WNBA and uh, contemplating maybe getting uh, more. Uh, I don't know if they run a sale. If they do run sales, let me know. Um, I've recently just started buying their stuff, and the reason I like it so much is because uh, it's so easy to customize. Um, I'm pretty good with Excel, uh, so that opens up a few more uh, things for me. But uh, anyway, I'm uh, enjoying this. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But uh, we're pretty far into our uh, inaugural season, and we've got a good matchup here between the two teams that I think. I, uh, obviously, there's no such thing as spoilers, but. Uh, I'm not 100% sure the finals opponent of the Houston Comets, uh, who that was. But anyway, I think it was the Mercury. But So the Houston Comets are 7-1, and one, uh, winning uh, at a higher percentage than they did in real life. But uh, anyway, they're 7-1, and one, and the Phoenix Mercury are 5-1. and one. So we're at Phoenix, uh, and the team that won the championship here is on the road. So this should be a great matchup to, uh, to highlight the game. Uh, I've automated a lot of the process, uh, as you, if you're familiar with the game, you'll probably know. If you're not, um, we'll kind of squeeze through this. This may help you uh, with a few things, may give you some ideas for your own game. Uh, I have uh, made a few little modifications, uh, trying to, <clears throat> trying to uh, improve the game in my eyes. So that's the, the beauty of this, is you can do... Do things however you want to do it. So, anyway, first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll to see what players are in the game. Uh, so I'm going to check the bottom player's 27. She rolled under, so she's actually playing. Normally she doesn't. Cheryl Swoops, uh, a big star for the Comets. Obviously they hope uh, she's playing. She is not. She's out tonight. So I'll put an X there. And we've got to get down to 10 players. And Yolanda Moore, below a 51... She rolls a 55, so she is also out. So there's our two outs for the Houston Comets. Now we'll go over to the Phoenix, Phoenix Mercury. Molly Tudor, 59, she's out. And Makiko, she's also out. So there are our 10. I have it set up where it will highlight and let me know when we're at our proper amount. Uh, I have here, uh, you have to make adjustments based on how many... <clears throat> how many scoring dice you have. Uh, so that's what I have listed as D10s, which will be our scoring rolls. So Houston does not need to make any uh, adjustments, but Phoenix is going to have to make three adjustments. So we'll roll for their three players. It's a D10. Uh, one starts here down to zero or ten down here at the bottom. So we're going to adjust. So we have two sixes, so I have to re-roll one of those. So let's go down here and get rid of two, three, four, five, six. Michelle Tim's going to have a, not quite her uh, normal game. Tara Williams uh, is not going to have a good game. Now we need to figure out who the other player is. Five. So that's here. Their leading scorer, Jennifer Gilliam, uh, is going to be reduced a die also. Now I have adjustments. This is going to take into account... Um, home court advantage, uh, Houston being on the road, and several other things that the game takes into account. So I'm going to subtract two points from our player four, which is going to be Tina Thompson. And the other team didn't have any adjustments, so we're just going to do that. And we're ready to get started now. So I'm going to go ahead and roll Tina Thompson so I'll remember to take care of that negative two. She gets three die. Uh, for most, for the way the game rules explain, if you roll a zero for anyone other than the biggest star, uh, it is considered a zero. The way I do it is, if you roll a zero, it matches your highest roll. So that makes the roll a little more exciting, and basically if a player only has a one and rolls a zero, obviously they're going to get a zero anyway. So it still, it's, it still flavors in favor of what the rule normally is but uh, gives you a little bit more random chance, and you don't have to specifically determine who the best player is, which I also like. So Tina Thompson, let's get her scoring done here. 
So here we go. We got a zero matches the highest number, which was a four. So she has eight plus three. So she's got 11 points minus her nine minus her two, which takes her to nine. So she's on the books with a nine. So now we'll just start going across. That's no points there. Uh, Tyra Moore does not score. None there. Monica Ambers, no points. Monique Ambers, no points. All right, Wanda Guyton, she's going to score. She's going to score eight. And Nancy Lieberman, who I did not know, uh, got any NBA action. That's cool that she was playing. She scores seven. So early on, Houston Comets on the road leading 17-7. to seven. Fran Harris now, she scores four. Tia Jackson fails to score. That's going to hurt the Mercury. Uh, Tiffany Woosley... It's going to score three. Michelle Timms, normally a big scorer. In this case, she's only going to score two points. Phoenix, very low point total, and they are in major trouble. Jennifer Goom, her their normal high scoring, she's going to pick up 16. That'll give them a chance. I'm going to skip this three with Bridget Pettis. We'll come back to her. Uh, let's see, we've got four points there. Just awful. Uh, let's go to Kim Parrott. I'm not sure she had, um, I think, brain cancer. I think maybe she passed from that at a very young age. Five points for her. And Key Webb scores one, and Phoenix is just struggling. Uh, there's going to be a 16 there. Tony Foster picks up seven. But none of this is going to be enough. Let's go ahead and well, let's get Cynthia Cooper. The Jordan, Michael Jordan of the WNBA, so they say. All right, she's going to, oh, terrible roll. This gives them a chance. That's going to be a four, five, only six points. By far her lowest effort of the year. And Bridget Pettis now, she's got three die. You never know. That's going to be six, 17 points. So I've got the, this actually going to turn out to be it's a super low scoring game, but I have one play at the end, which is called, since this is player of the game, this is the highlight of the game. I like to roll. And I have a little chart. And so I will roll. These two dice will determine the player that's involved in the highlight of the game, which is going to be the home team number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So Tia Jackson. Tia Jackson has the highlight of the game. She rolls a two, so I will go to the chart and I will play that highlight. Highlight of the game, look at this. A chase down block. She came out of nowhere to swat that shot away, taking away two points from the opposing team's high scorer. All right, so she had a LeBron James chase down block, so that takes away two from the Houston Comets. So Phoenix is going to win this game 54-51. to 51. Again, low scoring game. Uh, we've had our share of high scores. It looks to add up uh, pretty close. Um, the last time I did a uh, numbers check, we were we were pretty pretty close to the uh, right on numbers. So I'm going to do a. I also have this programmed. This will grab these um, numbers down here at the bottom. I'll paste those into uh, my other spreadsheet. And I'm tracking uh, points scored for all the teams and updating standings. So the Comets lose their second game. Mercury go to 6-1. and one. And uh, let's see, let's update, let's update our all-time leading scorers. So let's see, let's see if I can drag this into... Where you can actually see this. Uh, no, I messed up. Um, okay, there you go. So there's our there's our leading scorers. Um, so Cynthia Cooper is a, the uh, current all-time leading scorer. She's got 181 points. Wendy Palmer second. Tia Thompson third, uh, with uh, 137. Ruthie Bolton 134. So, that's our leading scores. There's our standings. And that's it. We've completed a game. Uh, again, uh, I know the 
having a having all this on Excel certainly speeds things up. But uh, um, I'm enjoying the game. Let's run one more. Uh, New York, who is New York Liberty, who is severely underperforming, and they're going to be on the road at Charlotte. So New York had me questioning uh, things, but I looked at all their numbers and I have everything inputted uh, correctly. So they've just been unlucky, I do believe, but we'll see if they can pull out uh, a win here. Got to make a couple more adjustments. Liberty and Sting. Okay, so let's get our players out. So they, um, they only have 11 on their... Team, so we'll take the bench player out immediately. 61, she is also out. So there's our two there. They're down to 10. Charlotte, she's out. And Susie Hobson is also out. So there's Charlotte's two out. So our adjustments, we've got two adjustments for the Liberty that need to be removed. So it's going to be three their leading scorer, Sophie Witherspoon, going to have a little bit of an off game. And Kim Hampton is going to have a down game. So I've got a green light there, so I'm good there. Let's make adjustments over on this side. So the Charlotte Sting, I need to adjust one player. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to be Penny Moore, may not score. And we'll check our minor adjustments here, which I hide here. To be a surprise. So no, player six, one, two, three, four, five, six, is going to have a minus five. And then player one for the sting is going to have a minus three. So those are adjusted. I will resolve their scores first. So Teresa Witherspoon has got to put up at least five, or we're going to have to pass on that deficit. She would have scored 12, but due to, we'll say, really good defense, she's going to only put up 7. Uh, Andrea uh, Congre Congreves, uh, she only has one die. She rolls a 5, so she's going to score 2 points. So all that's taken care of, and we're now ready to um, proceed with the game. So we're going to have a 0 here. Deborah Williams... I'm going to re-roll that, sitting on the edge. She's going to put up five. Vicki Johnson gets two point rolls. Thirteen, that's going to be a big help there. No points there. I would say New York is in the lead for sure. A five, a one, and New York is potentially going to blow Charlotte out on the road. Sue X scores four. That's no points there. Run a map, uh, Charlotte's best player or highest scoring player anyway, she's going to fill it up. That's 17, 23, 22. Uh, Kim Hampton it only scores one. This is now tightening back up. We're 30 to 30. Three points there. Charlotte now leading 33 to 30. Tina Trice with one. Vicki Bullet now, she's a three-point scorer. She's going to put up here 11, 12 points. Sophia Weatherspoon, uh, New York's high-scoring player, Rebecca Lobo right behind her. So tonight's an off night for her. She's only going to score five, and Charlotte back in control, I do believe. Two points there. Uh, let's get our let's get this one out of the way. Keisha Ford, she's only going to score two. So Rebecca Lobo is really going to have to fill it up. Let's go. Let's go to Rebecca Lobo first. She did not. She's only going to score six, and they're going to lose again on the road. Andrea Stinson's going to score 10 12. And let's check our highlight of the game. Player 93, that's a high roll. It's going to be a rare play here for the away high scorer, which is going to be Vicki Johnson. Vicki Johnson, a rare play. Let's see what happens here. Highlight of the game from behind the arc. Count the bucket and the foul. She converts the rare four-point play. Okay, so we're going to give her four more points. So that is certainly going to be helpful. That's going to get her up to 17, which tightened the game a little bit, but uh, obviously didn't change it. But sometimes that will change it. And again, that's, a, that's something I've just added. I like... Um, uh, one of the things I didn't like about the game is how basically you 
had the scores and then you made um, uh, massive adjustments along the way. Uh, the way the way I've done it is I've condensed it into uh, that early hidden points that you saw, and then uh, then there's a little bit at the end of the game that could you know could provide basically a buzzer beater um, in the way this game works. So uh, it's not play by play by any mean, but it's super fast. I enjoy that aspect of it. I'm gonna update our standings as soon as I close this out. But thanks for joining me again. This is Downey Games player of the game WNBA version and I um, appreciate you watching please like and subscribe would love to continue to build the channel uh, if you do like this and you would like to see more let me know um, I'd be happy to post more of these videos but uh, you know I know this is kind of a niche audience but uh, anyway thanks again and we'll see you soon